What is happening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. Thank you for joining us right here in beautiful London to be precise in the House of Vans London. What a beautiful setup. We couldn't have asked for a better place to host the 2022 Vans The Circle Finals. My name is Andy Tsai. It's an absolute pleasure and honor to be hosting tonight's show, but I'm not the only one from my on the, my left-hand side, from you guys on the right-hand side, no other may I introduce you to, to you, uh, the Mad John Taylor, the absolute infamous MJ. Welcome to the show, buddy. I still can't shake that name, can I? <laughs> all these years, all these years of banter back and forth, I still can't shake you. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. Welcome yeah, to the show. No, it's amazing. Check out that bowl. Like, I know, right? This is the sickest front room ever, right? In a couch, bowl in the background. I wouldn't like to have some beers and fall into it, but yeah, yeah, super cool, yeah. <laughs> Six out. Well, John, it's an absolute pleasure to sit having you uh, by my side. And uh, what happened and uh, started 2020, approximately two and a half years ago, as a journey where we officially started establishing Vans the Circle as the very first digital only uh, video competition established now to a global uh, stage of 18 stores, 18 stores, over 10 countries all around the world submitting their th approximately three. Um, minute long videos on this online platform hosted on with our media partner over with our friends at digbmx.com and this is an online competition after all John so it's thank God it's not you or up to me to decide who of those 18 stores made the cut to today's final because unfortunately only uh, 10 out of those 18 made that cut but again another talk eh? we're gonna come back to the stores later let's introduce the judges yeah so I've been in that hot seat. It's a hard one. It, I remember. I you were, you yeah, were yeah, yeah. The, first one. In, uh, the first one. The yeah, first yeah. one. First one. Super hard. Great seeing all the fresh faces, but it's a super hard job. But, you know, let's get on with it. Let's introduce our first guest. Linda, first judge. What do you make of it? Um, yeah, thank you. I'm Linda. I'm from Austria. I'm glad to be here. Honored to like, be a part of this, um, this year's um, judge penalty. And yeah, it was good to watch all those crazy videos and yeah, it was a really cool experience. Yeah, because you, you've been, you know, you've won a Nora Cup. <laughs> that's a big one, right? <laughs> this Thank year, you. you've had a banger of a year. Yeah, yeah this that's year a, that's was... That's big, that's big. It was just crazy. Like, I only started writing four years ago, so, um, and this year was the first year where I was able to go all to the events. And, and like, I made, I don't know, I, I met like so many incredible people and like, just to see all like the pros ride and it just was a crazy experience for me and then like be a part of it and yeah. I yeah you're part of the pro tour now no, as well, you know, no, like, not, that's, it. It's like, that's it, you're really. It. It. it was just like, um, I don't know, with Nora Cup it just came like full circle and it was like this craziest thing and I still like didn't really comprehend what happened there, but yeah, yeah it was yeah, awesome. Yeah. It was good. And also we have Greg Illingworth. Thanks, John. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked to be part of this panel. You know, for me, I've been riding BMX for more than 20 years, and a huge part of that and a huge motivation, motivating factor has been videos. That's, you know, yeah. everything. Well, you've done, your, you've done your video projects, and, you know, you know exactly what it takes to put yourself in that hot seat. You know what it takes through the mindset to get there. You know, you've been there, so. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, I've filmed my own videos, and I've also produced videos, so I've got a little bit of the background knowledge and a little bit of that in front of camera knowledge too. Yeah, so course, when I was yeah. asked to be part of this panel, I felt really stoked. And for the first time being asked to judge, I felt like I, I really <laughs> wanted to do this. And I it's, wasn't it's a so scary nervous. one, but yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Felt, it's an honor, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So thank you. I appreciate it. I was stoked, I was stoked to watch all the videos. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for joining, Greg. Now, the next judge, Calvin. You again, you know? You know what it takes to put a good video together. You know, you do a lot of the Vans videos, you do kink videos, you ride it yourself. Appreciate yeah. it, mate. Thanks for uh, having me here. Um, yeah, it's pretty unreal to be able to watch all these videos and judge them. It's, it's hard to judge videos. You shouldn't really do that, but you know, this is a contest and yeah. these guys are yeah. you're gonna win money and it's awesome yeah. for the stores. So um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to judge, but yeah, it's super fun and congrats to everybody. It's such a, an, ama it's an amazing event for Vans. And, you know, Andy, congrats, mate. It's an amazing no. thing. So, thank it's you. It's all us, it's all you guys, thank you. Yeah, and it's, it's cool, like what he says, you know, like it's, 
we're judging art when it's all said and done, you know, and that's it's someone else's perspective. But like you say, it's we've got to we've got to get numbers down of where people are placed. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's two two more judges still to go, and uh, who's up next here? The fakey master. Fakey boy. The true fakey master. <laughs> X Games <laughs> medalist. Yeah. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for kind words. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Mark, Marcus was an X Games medalist, you know, and it's like so cool to see him be part of the freedom thing. That, that's your driving force, right? You, that's you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the man behind uh, freedom. I do it full time. You know, I make videos of the German scene and, you know, travel all across the country and try to cover everything. Yeah. And again, you know exactly what it takes to put one of these videos together in every element, as a writer, as a filmer, as an editor, so another great judge. Yeah, um, I mean, I hope so. I'm really honored to be part of it. <laughs> yeah. No, you are, you are, you are. It's good, it's good. And yeah, the last of the big dogs. Kevin, look, look, look. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I'm rocking it, yeah? I'm rocking it, brother. <laughs> yes, sir, John. Yeah. You, you know, you know, you've had a, a uh, again, Nora nominated video this year, which was insane. And which oh, we'll get you, into later. You. But, Too kind, yeah. John. I appreciate you. Thanks for supporting the shoe, the collection. <laughs> uh, dream come true, obviously. My, um, my name is Kevin as well. Um, you know, I grew up loving BMX and uh, nerding out. Like, I think everyone in the sport, you know, watching BMX videos was always something that, that got me inspired to get out and learn something new and to see where the level of riding was taking the sport in that time, you know? And so to be invited as one of the judges for Vans the Circle, you know, this incredible platform for, for not only these bike shops, but the communities behind these bike shops, new faces, new talents, new spots, yeah. New videos, creative style, everything. What more can I say? What, what an incredible honor to be a part of this judging panel. So thank you guys. Thanks for the support. Such a, good Such a good name. Such a good name when you said that. We're BMX nerds. We're all BMX nerds, man. Absolutely all of us. Right. So absolutely all right. Of us. We're absolutely BMX nerds all around the world. And exactly what KP just said there, nail it on the top of the nail. Because, you know, that's ultimately what Vans the Circle is about, is giving stores, communities out there all around the world an opportunity go out there grab pick up a bike uh pick up a camera go film themselves submit it uh you know uh upload it and uh with a little luck you will be walking away with a with the first prize of ten thousand dollars you know so which is absolutely amazing so as i said before we had 18 submission guys 18 submissions and only the top 10 will make it to the cut to till today's finals so uh, one from the placings 18 till 11 in no particular order we're going to show you guys a mashup now what we like to call the best of the rest here you go
crisis. West for the dice prices and die vices. Hit them where his life's nicest. Monopoly room. Drugs for the property yeah. room. So got cheese leaves properly grown. Cause that connect get recycled. You know my life. Amazing riding. So sick to see some of my friends in that videos as well. I know, Isaac right? Lesser, I know he's tried hard on that video and especially that rail. Guys, give us some thoughts on what you were thinking with the whole process. Well, yeah, I think with those, those videos, they all had something really cool. You know, they all went out there and they, they filmed good videos. Um, I think there was just maybe something a little missing from, from each of them to get them into that top 10. And that's why they didn't make it. But I've got to say a big shout out, as you mentioned, Isaac Lesser and Dead Sailor. They, yeah. That was that was for me a really good video. But for for me, their video was maybe creating maybe a bit of a creative vision. And some of the other videos, there were a few other things lacking. But I don't know. What do you think? Some of them were standouts, weren't they? Yeah, I totally agree. Like um, also, like Bro Spike Star um, had a great film mm -hmm. with Anna Wolf, of course, and yeah. also Kings Ride with Grant Casaluzu. Um, they like the qualities of the videos are really high, and um, if I thought like all the videos brought something to the table, but it was just like also like yeah, the standard was yeah. just so high across everything that for sure when we when we got to the end of the results to see some of them down there, it was it was difficult to watch, but yeah, you know it is what it is. It's a contest at the end of the day, and there's criteria yeah. that they've each got to try and meet and. Uh, I, I liked I like most of those videos, but yeah, maybe all just lacking a little something. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you very much for your honest feedback, and I really appreciate that. And once again, one more time, big massive shout out, and thank you, and a big honorable mention for all those stores, those eight of you that were part of the party, uh, Vans the Circle 2022. Now, speaking of a badass video, and speaking of one guy that probably shook the world a couple of weeks ago, I'd like to introduce you right now and recall to a video by one of my main man, Kilian Roth. And Kilian Roth got together with a mastermind, Rich Foran, for a Vans project called Vans Check. Check it out.
Well, what an absolute mind melter that was. Vans Check featuring Killian Roth. What are your thoughts on that? That was... <laughs> <laughs> that is a good description, mind melter. <laughs> the... Imagine going down that rail and then 180 and off. Tires. Yeah. <laughs> he has those on lock. I like a full-on <laughs> precision. Well, shout out to you, Keely. So, killed it. Bonkers. Yeah. Bonkers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we hate to do it, but we've now got to bring him down to 10 to 6. 10 to 6. Yeah. Let's go. John, well, that was absolutely awesome. Way to set the pace within the top 10. Those were the places 10 to six, really, really creative, really, really like, um, you know, a good com consumption of, you know, creative to creativity, um, audio visual, uh, visually, um, and of course the editing was awesome. So I wanna check with uh, Calvin and you, Marcus, on your pick. Let's start with you, Calvin, um, uh, on those yeah. positions. Yeah, so it was really hard to get that that top ten through to six, um, and I think like I don't know, I loved all of them, but uh, Shred BMX, I think some of the spots that they had to offer was amazing. Um, that last like transition spot with the apartments is insane, and then Kunstform out of Germany, the ice to nose into the street, like we've all been to that spot, and it's super impressive. That's like just the riding level there. And I also like that there was like a, a hint of like Ben Norris filming style with the filming and the editing with the song. So I like that too. Um, and then also 360 bit BS, like awesome storyline. I like that a little bit of storytelling as well as writing and just the overall production was really good. So to have them up in six, I was really stoked to see that. That's awesome. Thank you very much for your comments on those too. Uh, Marcus, I just told John like, how, how pumped and stoked I am to see, um, you know, like the, the, you know, the Turkish community um, getting together and getting involved in Vance the Circle. So what is your take on, on that and, um, and the other store? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really know anything. I don't know much about the Turkish scene. So I was, I was really surprised to see them coming through such a good video and I was really stoked on it. The writing was insane, filming was good. And what I also really liked was um, the editing that the source brought to the table. I thought that was really 
innovative, and I really enjoyed that. That's awesome. Thanks, guys, for those comments. So there you have it, guys. 10 to 6 is down, and we are facing almost podium. We're aiming at that podium spot right now but with uh, 5 to one down, but if there's one guy who's no stranger to danger, no stranger to filming badass video parts, is one, one guy up there right now with the biggest smile of all of us right now, Kevin Peraza. <laughs> I'd like to throw back to your video project you produced for Vans this year, Vans Contodo. Here we go. Check it out. <laughs> Kevin, another one. <laughs> that was amazing, amazing. We all know, seen John. it. Thank you. <laughs> That's a Nora nominated video, right? Yes, yes. You know, and going back to what the Vans, the circle is, you know, um, film and video parts was a, a key part of my life and how it got me to where I am today. So um, having the opportunity to film a video part for my new collection with Vans, you know, dream come true. I'm super speechless to say the least you know and getting together with one of my really good friends Juani Surita and uh and filming that piece you know always an incredible experience working on a video part you know it not only shows you how physically but mentally strong you are but how incredible and important it is to have someone that's willing to put in the same amount of work and and you know and share their creative vision on that side of it you know it it, it takes two to make a video part come together and the camaraderie and everything that falls into its place from the stressful and very hard moments to walking away on, on something super gnarly, you know, it just, it just turns into this whole experience that you could only, you could only dream of, you know? So for that to be nominated as a Nora cup, you know, is, is I'm speechless, you know, it only fueled the fire inside of me that much more to work on another video part already and get, get it going for 2023, you know? No, it's so cool to see, isn't it? You know, like, and that's, that's the whole vibe of this whole thing is like what you've just said and you know everyone's feeling that everybody that's filmed for these shots has, has felt that feeling that you just talked about so cool absolutely yeah right. and that's exactly it you know and um that i got i got super motivated after watching all these videos i think i finished watching these videos like 10 p.m my time and uh, I, I wanted to, you know, get out and ride that that second, you know, it was so cool to watch all these bike shops and communities get together and, and, you know, and really put a video together for themselves. And obviously the experience that we're taking from that, you know, I bet they had the times of their life. So it's cool to see. Sick. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and once more time, massive congratulations and a massive high 10 to you, Vance Contoro. Everyone, thank do you. yourself a safe favor. <laughs> do not live under a rock. Go and check it out right now. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, over at us here and uh, at uh, everyone at House of Vans and all around the world and the three judges joining us online, we are eyeballing with that podium right now. Now it's time to focus on who ended up in the top five. Fifth place and fourth place, coming right at you.
Jeez, guys, another two badass videos in the books and absolutely pumped to see People Store in fifth place and also Action Wheels in fourth place. Absolutely amazing. Um, I think this is the first pull out of Action, uh, uh, sorry, out of uh, People Store. Super happy to see them in the top five. So, Linda, quick question for you. You are actually a Cologne resident right now. So, um, what is your take? What, you, what is your, like, in a nutshell, what is your take? What are you taking away from uh, the performers of the People's Store, guys? Yeah, I mean, um, I love Anton's filming and editing. Like, the, just the quality of the video is amazing. Um, I think it's, like, wild that they actually went out and, like, searched for round spots and circles. And um, you can see, it, like, even there's so many little Easter eggs in the editing um, with the B-roll and everything and also the intro. Um, you can see like the love and work that just, I don't know, just were put in the video. So I don't know, just love to watch it and I think it's a really, really good video. Well said, I couldn't have said any better. So congratulations one more time, fifth place to People Store. And fourth place went all the way to Spain, to Madrid's own Action Wheels. So Calvin, I want to pick your brain a little bit. What are your thoughts on Action Wheels? Um, Spanish scene is super strong, super heavy, especially on the street side, but not taking anything away from the transition side. Shout out to Sergio Laos and Ruben. <laughs> but uh, right now, all the attention to Action Wheels. What are your thoughts? Yeah, congrats to Action Wheels on fourth place. It was like, yeah, super, super tight there with Peoples. They obviously killed it. And yeah, for them to get into fourth is awesome. I love Madrid spots. I think it's, it's awesome. Anywhere in Spain, in general, but going to Madrid, it's chaotic. There's a lot going on. So congrats to getting to all those spots and getting that video done. It's not easy in Madrid. Um, and I believe it was Rafael that filmed that. So, you know, another dude that works with a lot of the guys out there and with courage as well. So yeah, it was really, really cool to see them get up on fourth spot. So congratulations. Yeah, massive high 10 to all you two spots at People Store with fifth and Action Wheels in fourth place. So, John, now's the time. Unfortunately, those two guys and those two stores, excuse me, were just a tad away from cold hard cash. And this is serious cash, Andy. Like, and I know you know, but obviously everybody out there, this is serious cash. Vans are throwing down for this, right? So, for third, it's two and a half K, right? All right, cash money. Yeah, yeah. Second is 5K. Put that check right here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. And, but first is 10K. Right? Whoa, that is a banger. Imagine, imagine going in the shop on, on Saturday morning with 10 grand up, boys. You know? That's 10 grand to, for grabs for first place. We're going to eyeball now with the top three stores. And in addition to that, just remember, all those stores still have a chance to walk away with five additional uh, awards right after. So here we go. Three, two, one, roll it.
Circle, Lux BMX. Yeah, 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 yeah. Understand what we know it. 
Do you know where we going? Do you see what we've seen? Have you dreamed what we dreaming? Have you seen what we scheming? Tyler now about the need. Tyler all about that free. Look at my face. Look at the television in my vision now. Look at my face. Look at the concentrated in my center now. Look at my face. Look at these things. Shining and green. Shining and crown. Shining and king. Shining with queens. See what it means. If you talk to my face, tell me now what it be. Take off your mask. If we talk about free. If we talk about free. If we talk about need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good Lord, what have we just witnessed? Did you see that? Did you again. see that? <laughs> I did, I did. Holy moly, right on in third. Soul Cycle in second place. And the win that makes me really, really proud goes over for first place to over to Australia to Brizzy uh, to Lux BMX. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit to the judges, shall we? Um, Kevin, over to you. What are your thoughts on your on your co like collective top three decision? Man, obviously, you know the level of riding, the use of spots, uh, the inclusivity, creativity. We're going through the whole roster of how we judge these videos. They were all so close, you know. And spot usage, commitment. You know, these dudes really went in for this contest. You can see it, you know, in the riding. I love the creative vision as well. Lux, for example, took it to the top with me and. All the drone footage, everything was clean, super edited, the song. It was one of those videos that after I, I, I watched all 18 submissions, I re-watched re it and re-watched it. The next day before I went out and I re-watched it, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> that's what BMX is, you know, and that to me took the top cake. Obviously, you know, the, the Ride On and Soul Cycle were so creative as well. You know, it's uh, just so cool to see all how different and all these different styles of, of bike shops and communities come together and create something so cool for us to watch. Greg, back to you here um, in the House of Van studio. What are your two cents on the top three? Uh, what is your particular highlight? You know, obviously Lux being first, followed by Soul Cycle, and then ride on from to our friends over in Greece. Yeah, Andy, I think all, all three of these videos were absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, they all had something really special. You know, whether it was like, oh, they all had incredible riding, but there was just that something little extra in each one. You know, ride on the, just the crew. Some of the moves they did, the, the, the you know the loop, George smashed it. I mean, all, you know, all of the riders smashed it. Soul Cycle, their concept followed it all the way through. It was amazing. Uh, but Lux, hands down for me, and I think all the judges was, was number one. They they nailed everything. You know, the filming was on point. The commitment, just going out there at night, filming those those spots. They they absolutely smashed it. Filming wise, riding wise, their concept was incredible, and. Um, I think if I if I was to choose a crew that I wanted to be with filming and riding myself, it would have been that one. You know, mm. I would I feel like I would have been there yes. hyped to be part of it the most. And for me, that's why I think they ended up on top and they deserve it. Well said, well said. Marcus, your take on that. Over to you in Cologne. Uh, what is your take on the top three and your collective decision to with the other four guys? Yeah, I mean, really amazing videos by all the guys. And um, I mean, I gotta thank them for making such entertaining edits for us to watch but uh, no thanks uh, too because it made it really hard for us <laughs> come up with, with the Good decision job. yeah i mean super difficult but i think yeah we came up with good results so uh, congrats guys yeah linda your two cents yeah it's like the top three were just crazy and like i feel like it's so cool to see like also like lux like trick rise was just incredible and live music was so cool also like the concept of like the day and night thing and um then soul cycle like really stood out to me um that they really like got out and like carried that circle everywhere and like put it in i don't know put it in every spot and like also um they had like every type of writing in there like some transition writing in they yeah i think like the whole vibe of the video um i just really enjoyed watching it um, and also, yeah, right on, like, really deserved, like, that third place. And, yeah, with that loop, like, <laughs> also, like, the shot in the beginning and then in the end, like, it came full circle and, like, just the looks of it. And it, it was just cool.
full circle. I couldn't have said any better. Beautiful <laughs> said. <laughs> so, Calvin, over to you. Being an Aussie yourself, it must fill you with nothing but pride that you see the Lux boys walking away with that win. Um, tell me about it. I mean, what is it with you Aussies that you always crank it up a notch and crank it up to 11? Man, I don't know what it is down there, but yeah, Brisbane Riders are absolutely insane. The Lux guys, congrats. I mean, Troy Charlesworth, too, on the filming end of things, he's been in it way before I was even filming. Um, he was one of the first dudes I filmed with. So to see him still progressing his art and, like, putting out this video and, and winning is amazing. Like, I'm so, so happy for him and the Lux guys. Um, so have a few beers, and I figured I'll bring this out. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. 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 that was good yeah to the other the other two stores you all deserve money you all brought some different personality and yeah congratulations all right so, can, I, uh, can i hear it one more time just like Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. There you, you go. Remember that? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, guys. Um, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, third place, two and a half grand, as you just said, goes to uh, Ride On BMX over in Greece. Second place, five grand, straight into the pockets. Not my pockets, unfortunately. Straight goes to Amsterdam to Soul Cycle. And the win, 10 grand, goes over, over the big pond over to the ocean to our friends in Australia. Uh, but we're not done yet because we have more videos to show and we have more awards to showcase and to reward. But before we talk about that, we have a special video project we'd like to talk about, John. Yeah, and it, it's amazing to have Linda here. And, it, and it, I felt so cool being able to talk to her today about the whole project and like her whole thoughts behind it. And it's, yeah, it's amazing to see this video and having everyone to see it now is, to have it with this project is another cool one. Really let's, cool. let's tease the guys out there watching right now. This is Cliché by Linda Grapner. I gotta get out, bitches on my table, I don't even know it came out, damn. Henny Jack, Coco, empty cell, it's tiny hands all up in my Fenty, right? Now we all let out, cool squad, lady still, find another way out. We tryna blow her, but your ass in the way now. You can't sit with us, cause your man's over here now. Ouch, go, go, going insane, all the alcohol is to blame. I came down from a high, got low, where my people's at, let's roll. Going insane, all the alcohol is to blame. I came down from a high, got low, where my people's at, let's go. Ouch. Thank you. Well done, Linda. Well done, girls. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, so crazy. Linda, I've got to ask. Everyone, when they watch that, all my mates when we watched it, first thing is, you rolling in on that crazy vert wall. Tell us what was going through yet, because I know that's what everybody said, right? right? I've been there a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all been there. It is bananas. And rolling it, just going off the peg straight into that, and at the bottom, you're like, pull it off. It's just perfect. Yeah, it was actually a little bit dumb because like it was the first clip we filmed for the video and uh, we came to the spot and I was like, last time I was there I was thinking about it and then I was like, yeah, let's do it. And yeah, then the video. I got up there and usually I, I run like really low PSI because I usually just ride three and, and I didn't think that maybe it would be good to put some air in my tires and then <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped in and went for it and then I rewatched the clip and I was like, oh. Maybe, <laughs> but it makes the clip. It yeah. makes it. It's just so cool. Like you're just like raggedy on the edge. You're rolling out. It's perfect. Yeah, it was definitely perfect. worth for the sound. Yeah, Cliché. that's it. Where silly ideas become reality. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look, you got your that's what it's line. about. Sometimes. Oh, it's man. just the moment. You but do it yeah, the moment. Linda, yeah, massive the shout moment. out. Massive shout out to you and all the girls. But um, you, that was obviously in Barcelona. Did you did you take the team and the squad to multiple places for to film the project? Yeah, um, so the idea was um, because we, all of us girls are spread out th through entire Europe, so um, the idea was for the first trip, like all of us girls come to Francina and Anna to Barcelona and then um, all the other girls come to Germany for the second trip. And it was like two trips um, each, like 10 days. And it was really cool because before the first trip, we didn't even know each other. I think I was the only one that met all of the girls Really? And the girls, like, they didn't know each other, so it was like a complete gamble if they would get along or anything. Wow. And, like, we met in Barcelona and, like, stayed all seven girls in two-bedroom apartment, and, like, it was just the 
we had just had the best time. And yeah, second trip, exactly the same. And then, I mean, we filmed it um, and um, by ourselves. And for me, for example, it was the first time I held a, ca a camera in my hands. So yeah, Teresa like really had to try to <laughs> do her best and like and post and edit everything. And I think it turned like turned out really cool. Well, I'll tell you what, Very you can be job. proud of. You guys can be absolutely proud of that of that project. You know, everyone out there, do yourself a favor, go and watch Cliche with Linda and all the other girls. Like, absolutely killed it. Maximum Thank respect you. to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, but we're not done that. That's the good news because we have more prizes to come. We just witnessed the top three, but we have the individual prizes coming up. We're starting off with the Creative Vision Award, the MVP Award, the Best Trick Award, the Best Single Image because we are bringing photography back, believe it or not, boys and girls. And for not last but not least, uh, you guys voted, and you guys voted over with our friends and at our friends at digbmx.com for the um, uh, community favorite award. So, John, starting off with a creative vision. So, the guy really to announce the style is one guy here on the panel, isn't yeah, it? That guy, Kelvin. Far away, man. Hey guys. Yep. So, creative vision. I uh, I love this one. Um, out of eighteen shops, all five of us judges came down to. It's one uh, winner, and the winner is for 500 bucks, Soul Cycle. So, congratulations, guys, to uh, Tom and Bob. You guys did an excellent job, and just lugging that piece of wood around to every spot and you know, getting everything dialed in. I don't know, it must have been hard, but it, it came through perfectly, and it didn't overpower the video. I thought it was a perfect touch. So, congrats. <laughs> Well picked, well picked. 500 bucks Creative Vision Award goes over to Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, congratulations one more time and a big massive high five to SoulCycle and obviously the master Creative Vision guys over there. <laughs> yeah. So we keep those 500 bucks thing going because I like it. You know, let's talk about MVP, the most valuable player. Go and throw it to you, Greg. Uh, may you oh, have geez. the honor to introduce the most valuable player out of all this all the shops. Okay, Andy, this, was, this one was difficult. There were so many riders through all the videos that stood out. Uh, you know, from Miguel Cuesta and Action Wheels, for me stood out, but I think the, the MVP for sure has to come from the top team. And uh, Raf Jeroma Williams, you are the MVP, my man. Congratulations and well done and enjoy that 500 bucks. You, uh, you absolutely smashed it. Your, some of the moves you did would have gone down as uh, bangers in any video part. The style you brought to, the, to all of those tricks was incredible. Uh, it was a pleasure to watch. And I think, it, to me, it looked like uh, the whole team buzzed off of your vibe and your energy. So congratulations again to Raf. You're the winner of the MVP. Well, one more time, big massive high five over to you, Raf. Congratulations, 500 bucks straight into the pocket for the MVP. John, we have another 500 bucks to give away. We do, <laughs> we do. And it's for the best trick. Oh, yeah. that's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, yeah. So, this has gotta be a tough one down here. I know I keep saying this to every, every <laughs> single aspect to this, but it, it, it is, it is. Yeah, it is. You know, we got, we got videos from all over the world, you know, like, and it's such a hard thing, and it's, everyone's getting stoked on these videos, but it has to come down to it, so. Yeah, exactly, and we got the two right guys for the job, like, <laughs> making that call. Kevin and Marcus, what are your thoughts on the best trick? Kevin, let's start, let's start with you. <laughs> I mean, I think every video had a best trick, you know, every, at the end of the day, when filming a video part, everyone wants to have an ender, a banger, something gnarly. This one, George, man came through right in the middle of the video part. Um, we don't even know what to call it, but he rides up this crazy little tranny wall to flip to fakey out of multiple bangers he had in the whole video, you know. Honestly, you know, it, it blew, it wowed me. It blew my mind watching it in the video, you know. And it's one of those spots that you see walking down the street and you say like, that looks rideable, but you never think a flip to fakey would ever come into <laughs> mind, you know. You never, <laughs> never imagine that. that happen, clean. So. And that clean, <laughs> and that you know, clean. like yes, yes. Uh, stomped it, came through, powerful. Like I said, um, 
whole video for that they put together. He came in strong with the ender as well with the full pipe at the end, you know, so the flip to fake, he takes the cake out of all the video parts. That to me was number one. All right, Good Marcus. Job, congrats. Marcus, yeah. you, you, you copy that? Yeah, what he said. I mean, congrats to George from uh, from Ride On. Amazing trick. I, I knew right away that that was my favorite. You know, I saw it and I was like, well, I have my first award to give away. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Marcus. Well, there you have it. George Natuvian from Ride On over in Athens and Greece walks away with another best trick because he actually won the best trick also last year. This guy has those best tricks on luck. He can throw them out like them hot. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna take it to the next award right now, and that is uh, the best single image award. So this is something we have may or may have not introduced in the beginning of the story, uh, excuse me, in the beginning of the show, because we are bringing photography, still photography back to the BMX world. And uh, we had all the shops and all the teams had to um, um, submit and one of the rule book was that one of the rules in the rule book said like they had to submit one their favorite best single image and we would not touch that award so we got the professionals involved so we hired or actually asked to uh, Ben Ajea a mastermind a visionary and an absolute tech wizard uh, behind the lens on when it comes to photography over in France and ask him about the decision for the best single image award here you go Benjia. Hi everybody. Uh, <clears throat> first, I would like to uh, thank Vance and JigBMX for uh, trusting me for judging the photography contest of this year. So uh, the winner is uh, Ride On with a picture by Ronnie of George doing a loop inside the street full pipe. I think uh, the picture has got a really good composition with a beautiful perspective, uh, a great light. The spot is amazing and perfectly matched with the theme of the circle. And uh, it's also one of the best tricks of the competition, of course. So uh, congratulations, guys. And uh, thanks to all the participants. It was a pleasure to see all of your work and uh, everybody is killing it. Merci and uh, I hope you will understand my bad English. <laughs> All right, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much to Ben Jia, who very, very well explained here why that image from Ride On and George doing the full loop, perfectly executed. He fully understood the concept of, you know, this is a circle shaped obstacle. I'm going to use a light, utilize it as best possible. So, and uh, we definitely hired the right guy for the job. Uh, so, one more time, big shout out to you, Ben Jia, making that call uh, for Ride On, George, going upside down. So, now, we're going to the last award, and the John, biggie. John, this might be the most important one because this is not voted by the judges. This got voted by the community out there. The worldwide global BMX community had the chance to log themselves into the digbmx.com on the website, on the Vans the Circle microsite, and vote for their favorite submission. And that site's so sick, you know, like you can go on there, super easy to navigate. You can go on there, check out all the videos, all these ones that. Go back and watch it again, you know, check it all out. But this is the biggie, Andy. This is the big one. Take, so, it, take it away, mate. Take it away. The winner is 360 BS. Three sixty Barcelona, Vama! Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to them guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was well, a cool video, cool concept, everything about it. You they, know? they seem to really understand the whole concept, you yeah. know, getting the girls together. It was, a, it was a very bald move also, you know. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's so like know. I said to you, when I, you know, I seen you for the first time and I, after I'd watched it and I was like, that is a statement, you know, yeah, that's yeah. a bold statement of what, what the girls were saying. It really was like, for me, like, I thought it was super cool. Definitely every every ev element of it. So. I think that was a really good step. Well deserved, 500 bucks going over to Viva España, 360 Barcelona. Woo! And that basically concludes our awards and this also wraps up our 2022 Vans The Circle. In a nutshell, Matt John, what do you take away? Like 18 stores down here at the House of Vans in London. 
you know, joined by all these uh, very, very highly decorated collective um, judges panel. Uh, what, is, what is your takeaway? It's emotional. No, <laughs> no, no. It's just so cool to be a part of something that, you know, like, we've got people from all over the world here, you know, like, just all being a part of something. And it's a big family. Bands is always, I've always felt a big part of that family, like, and it feels good. And everyone here, it's, it's so cool seeing all the faces and seeing everyone get psyched on something. I think it's such a cool project and I hope it keeps going, you know, like it's such a cool project. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Like I am very, very proud to think back like two or three years ago, actually in, two, you know, 2020, when we started the project and there were like uh, 10 stores involved, you know, yeah. then it grew to uh, 20 stores last year. Out of various reasons, um, you know, uh, it was 18 stores this year. Worldwide, we're talking five continents almost, you know, like everyone getting involved and, every, you know, this shows me that, you know, the worldwide global love and appreciation uh, for, for BMX is, you know, for BMX Street is, is, is alive and kicking, you know, the, the people are getting out there, they're supporting their local stores. Let's not forget, you know, the local stores are basically the hub, the local hub for all those <laughs> communities and the scenes yeah. out there. So you want to show them love and show some respect back, right? So pick up a bike, pick up a camera. Um, yeah, that, that's, you know, that is my biggest uh, uh, takeaway from this. Linda, what are your thoughts like, on this year's, uh, do you had a good time being a part of Vans the Circle? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I had a really hard time judging them. Like, it took me a while to, like, get in the order. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just think, like, the whole project and the concept of the project is, like, a really great thing to give, like, also, like, small um, shops, like, the possibility to just, like, go out, film, like, show what they, or show their scene. Like, especially I'm from Austria. Like, our scene is, like, really, really small. and. Um, for small scenes like that to have something where they just get the platform to be represented I feel it's like a really cool thing and uh, um, and also everybody just went for it and like I think had a great time and the outcome of it was awesome so well thank you yeah. very very much from John and myself for being a part of it and thank you for from the everyone thank at Vans for being a part of it Greg being from uh, originally from South Africa, I mean, this must like uh, you know create like a big massive smile from one ear to another. Like seeing like global appreciation and everyone getting involved. Will there be a South African contribution <laughs> at some point? <laughs> Andy, yeah, I absolutely hope so. I mean, you you know as well as I do oh, that yeah. the, the 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 riders are out there. The the South African scene is great and. Uh, I have no doubt that they would be able to smash this contest and, and put together a great video. But for me, being able to be part of this and watch this just reminded me of what, why I fell in love with BMX. You know, this is, it, it's what kept me motivated, what kept me inspired was going out there with a crew and filming and uh, putting something, working on something, working to, to make something good, you know, something better than just... Uh, putting your phone down next to a quarter pipe and filming the best trick you can do. Something, something more creative, something that takes more people, takes a community to put together and takes a few different visions. Um, and I got that energy and that vibe from so many of the videos and uh, it was sick to see that. And it, it really made me feel and believe that BMX is, is still like the, the, best, the best thing in the world. So thank awesome. you and uh, I loved it. Thank you, Greg, for being a part of it. Absolute pleasure having you part of the judges panel. Over to you, Cologne in Germany, Marcus Wilke. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Uh, any last words of being a part of this party this year? Well, I, I, I got to say, I enjoyed watching every video. It, uh, it was, yeah, it was just a great contest. And all the entries were great. And big up to the shops, you know, for keeping their local scenes alive. And yeah, I'll do it anytime again. Marcus, I got a specific question for you because I know that you are like a highly decorated um, uh, physical uh, BMX contest judge out there as well. So was this different, for, like judging physical contests that happens like, you know, riders performing on a course in front of your eyes versus judging um, a video competition? Was that difficult for you or like was it different? It, it is different. The main difference is I think that you're not in a room together with all the other judges. You know, you're by yourself, you have headphones on, you watch the video by yourself, so you can't really interact with all the other judges. So that made it a little bit weird in the beginning, mm. but you know, it all worked out in the end. Absolutely, and it was an absolute pleasure for us having you part of the, part of the journey. Uh, thank you so much, Marcus, for being a part of it. Um, 
over to you, Calvin. Uh, in LA right now is like, you know, almost noon, I would say. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being a part of uh, today's <laughs> show. Um, what is your outtake or takeaway from, 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 from this year's Vans the Circle? Yeah, um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for having me. It's an absolute honor. Um, and yeah, I think like watching all these videos kind of resets you, kind of brings you back to those earlier memories when you started filming with your friends. And like, you can see there's so many crews all getting together and like filmers, you know, it's just like, it's just the, the, the way in, it's like the gateway. Filming with your friends, just call them up, charge the batteries, go out, make memories. That's all you can do. Like, and it's such a fun experience. I suggest anybody to go out there and do it. Um, no matter your skill level, just get out there and film with your friends. It's cool. So yeah, thank you. Appreciate being Tom, here. Thumbs up, mate. Thank you very much. And last but not least, KP, Kevin Peraza, over to you. Any final message you want to you wanna, you wanna share with us? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm almost speechless, you know, uh, an absolute honor to be a part of this judging panel for 2022 Vans the Circle. You know, what an incredible platform and opportunity for these bike shops and all these communities to get together and create something. I think Calvin and, and everyone a part of this said it, said it well, you know, creating memories, getting out there with your friends, remembering why you ride in the first place. Um, you know, and, and these are all diaries that we all get to look back on or, or study ourselves on, on video parts and, and things that we did with our friends, you know, and get out there, whatever it is you want to ride, create your own vision, um, get your crew together, both women and men, you know, BMX is so inclusive nowadays. Um, I think at the end of the day, we all get out uh, to simply enjoy riding, you know, and so this really got me excited to ride. I'm very uh, thankful to be a part of it. And it was an absolute treat to getting to see all these bike shops get together. Um, yeah, what a, what a treat. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone. Vans the Circle, Vans for supporting such an incredible platform, like I said before. Wise words. Thank you very, very much. Muchas gracias to Kevin, uh, Greg, Linda, <laughs> Kelvin, and Marcus. Thank you so much for being a part of it. And speaking of thank you one more time, big, big, massive shout outs to all the communities out there. All the 18 stores that were participating in Vans The Circle 2022. Big, 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 massive shout out um, to digbmx.com, uh, to Will and Fred over to supporting us um, all these years. And uh, yeah, big shout out to UMJ. Was it's been it? a pleasure, brother. I oh, couldn't have said any better. <laughs> Likewise, this is what they decided on on the leaderboard right now. It's a crazy world out there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Do me a favor. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Never forget smiling. Pick up a bike. Have some fun. Pick up a camera. Have even more fun. And we'll see you soon. Man's the Circle 22. Peace out. Mm -hmm.